Josh, you were very confused why we weren't shouting this from the rooftops. So we are officially shouting this from the rooftops. For everybody else, we're gonna show you exactly what Josh was talking about here and why he was so excited about this. The J150 is out here flying right now. It's just spraying its first pass. Now I'm gonna let it go down and back, and then we're gonna actually pause the mission, bring it back home, and change the route, which is what Josh was so excited about. Now, during the mission here, you can still change a few things on the J150, like the micron size, the volume, the height, the speed, all that can be changed during the operation. This is nothing crazy, nothing new. Um, this is something that many drones do. So I just changed it to 500 microns. But now once it gets back here, I'll pause it, bring it home, and then we'll change a bunch of other stuff. All right, I'm gonna hit pause, go home. Once the drone is on the ground, we can edit everything to do with the route, the direction, the spacing, the margins, and the start point. So let's say the wind picks up. You need to start changing direction and changing your route spacing. Drones on the ground, we can come in here, change all these parameters, obviously, just like we were able to, and also change our route. So I'm gonna take our route, and I'm going to put it going this direction instead of that direction. And there you can see it doesn't overlap what I already sprayed. It remembers where it sprayed and only changes what you have not sprayed yet. And let's say we want to put a buffer off of this boundary here. So I'm gonna shrink that one side, select that side, and then let's do a 50 foot buffer. So you see it shrinks that one side over. We'll make that 60. And let's say I wanted to change my start point and put that right there instead. All this is all edited during the mission. So I confirm this. Let's change our route spacing. Let's make this 35 feet. Confirm, start, take off, and back to work with all of these edits mid-operation. But that's not the coolest thing. You can actually edit all of this while the drone's out there flying and hovering. We'll let it spray out a few passes here. Then I'm gonna pause it, let it hover, change things, and then go back to work after those edits are made while it's still out there hovering. We're gonna pause the operation. We're gonna exit out of this field. And then we're gonna come back into this field in the operating side. There you see it saves everything I already did. Hit continue. It pre-populates all of this. I'm gonna go back into my route. I'm going to shrink this side again a bit further and take off that last pass. I'm gonna do a reference boundary to this side now. And I'm going to change my start point over here make my route spacing 40 feet, hit continue, hit start. Now this isn't as smooth as the last one. It's gonna load this, it's gonna fail. Sometimes it fails. This time it did not fail. If it does, all you gotta do is rock your switch back and forth and it continues. So there you see, even hovering out in the field, you can do all of these edits and it doesn't overlap anything it already sprayed. Now that's cool. Josh, thank you for the shout out. Everybody else, I hope all this makes sense and why Josh is so excited. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Thanks, see you.